So in this video, we'll look at the topic of parametric curves. If you recall, usually what you learn on the xy plane when you're given a curve is that you're actually given the function for y as a function of x, right? And um, But in some occasions, it is actually not that convenient to write the curve by using y equals f of x. And sometimes we have to go through what we call the parametric curves in the sense that um, you can see what you have presented on the board here. Basically, the y-axis and the x-axis of the point are both functions of certain t. And you can call the t parameter. And that's how the name comes from, the parametric curves. And um, let's look at the simple example here as an introduction. So please look at the current example. I'm giving you a parametric curve. And let's say t is any real value. So it doesn't matter what value t is, but I'm giving you the function uh, of t for the y coordinate and also x as the function of t, right? And um, if I ask you the question like, uh, how's the curve like? Can you easily imagine what kind of curve is that? I think we can do it by algebra, right? And you see now you're given two equations with three variables, x, y, t. So algebraically speaking, if you can eliminate t, you will be able to get an equation in only x and y. So in that case, maybe you can make a good guess what kind of curve is that. And let's do the calculation. If you think of the two equations as one and two, and um, I think the second equation is pretty good because it looks simple. So now I think, uh, please recall the ultimate goal is to eliminate t. And I can write t as x plus 1 now for the second equation. I can put it into the first equation so you can see what's happening. In that case, um, t is canceled out because I can write the first equation now as y equals x plus 1, which is the t expression. Uh, square plus x plus 1 plus 1 here. And I trust that you can do this algebra because um, basically the curve is just the same as y equals x square plus 3x plus 3. And I trust that you kind of know the shape of this curve because um, the shape usually is dominated by the highest power term. So essentially, this one is really just like a curve, which is like a parabola, right? And uh, for the exact position of the parabola, uh, we're not going to do it here. But just a note for you here. Uh, in this case, we're able to get the curve presented as y equals function of x because of the fact that we can actually eliminate the variable t successfully, right? But um, in general, it may not be that easy to eliminate t, which means that we are left with a parametric form for a curve. We still try to understand the properties of this curve. And um, in the next couple of videos, we'll try to do it.